This procedure begins with placing a third instar larva on the dissection plate. Pins are placed in the posterior and anterior ends of the larva. Scissors are used to cut the larva open and forceps are used to remove the internal organs. Finally, four more pins are placed in each corner of the larval body wall to hold it taut during fixation. Hi, I'm Jonathan Brent from the laboratory of Brian McCabe in the Department of Physiology and Cellular Biophysics at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. Today we will show you the procedure for Drosophila larval NMJ dissection. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study neuromuscular junction synaptic development. So let's get started. In Drosophila larvae, there are 30 muscles per hemisegment whose arrangement within the peripheral body wall are known. A total of 35 motor neurons innervate these muscles in a highly stereotyped pattern. To access the neuromuscular junction, or NMJ, it is necessary to carefully dissect each larva. With proper dissection, the NMJ may be used for imaging, immunohistochemistry, or electrophysiology. Begin the procedure by putting a drop of HL3.1 buffer onto a dissection plate. The buffer is made in advance and cooled on ice. Carefully pick a wandering third instar larva from the side of the vial using large SS forceps. The movement indicates that the larva has not entered pupation. Place the larva dorsal side up in the buffer drop on the dissection plate. The cold buffer will anesthetize the larva and keep it still. Using forceps, place a minutian pin between the posterior spiracles. Then place a second pin close to the dark mouth hooks so that the larva is stretched out and ready to splay open. Using spring scissors, make a small horizontal incision toward the posterior end of the larva. Insert one blade of the scissors into this incision and make a lengthwise cut toward the anterior end of the larva. Then make horizontal incisions at the anterior end of the larva to the left and to the right of the pin. To remove organs such as the gut, add several drops of HL3.1 buffer to the animal. The gut and other organs will float up into the solution and they can be pulled away from the body using forceps. Also remove the tracheal system with the other organs. Now expose the interior body muscles by pinning back the flaps made by the incisions. Be sure to stretch the body walls open horizontally and vertically when pinning down the flaps. Remove any remaining organ pieces and wash once by adding fresh HL3.1 buffer. The larva is now ready to be fixed with freshly made formaldehyde diluted to 3.5% in 1x PVS. Completely immerse the larva in fixative and wait 25 minutes. When the fixation period is over, wash the larva twice with HL3.1 buffer for 3 minutes.
Carefully remove the pins. Transfer the larvae to 1.5 mil tubes containing 1x PBS. If needed, the larvae can be stored for up to 2 days at 4 degrees Celsius. For optimal results, use the dissected larvae immediately. There are several key components to a properly dissected Drosophila larva. First, be careful to not damage the muscles, especially 6, 7, and 4. Second, the animal must be properly stretched out. Otherwise, the neuromuscular junction may not be accessible or distinguishable. Here you can see a properly dissected larva. The NMJ is clearly visible and the system is now ready for experiments. We've just shown you how to dissect Drosophila larva to study the neuromuscular junction. When doing this procedure, it's important to leave the muscles intact. If the muscles are damaged, there will be no neuromuscular junctions to study. So that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck with your experiments.